But in terms of uh, harmony duos, we have one of our personal favorites in here. Haven't been heard on KBU for a long time. Haven't been heard on stage for a long time. Either somewhere between six and eight years. And uh, let me uh, let me make it so we can hear you guys. Hi. Hello. Hello. Again. Yes. Hi. Hello. Are we here? Are each of you here? Yes. It's been eight years. Yeah, it's been eight years. Did, you, did he say something, Jeff? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so uh, get ready for a very serious performance. Um, <laughs> I need to go to the bathroom <laughs> yes. um, immediately. Water. Making those noises are uh, Jim Brunberg. Do you have any denture cream on your left channel? Hello, and I'm Jeff uh, Pearson. Pearson on your right channel. Yes, hello, if you do have two speakers, I know these days many of us <laughs> lack that luxury. Um, but the duo is called Box Set. And uh, if you've been a folk rock fan in this town for a while, you'll remember them as uh, frequently touring visitors to Portland from their ancestral home down in San Francisco. Freakish, and, freakishly touring, and frequently. You'll, you'll, uh, <laughs> and you'll recognize uh, Jim's voice and name and sense of humor from, uh, or lack thereof, from, uh, <laughs> from Mississippi Studios. Jim moved to town in 2000... 1999. 1999, on the cusp of the millennium. 1999. And uh, set about founding Mississippi Studios, which is one of Portland's uh, favorite venues and uh, recording destinations and uh jeff pearson his duet partner currently sings uh vocals for further which is uh what the grateful dead has in evolved into and uh our illustrious guests are back together after as i was saying somewhere between six and eight years they'll they, they fight about it and uh <laughs> Yeah. They're going to favor us with a song. They're in the middle of their, or towards the end of their week-long residency at Al's Den in the Crystal Hotel, yes. a block from the Crystal Ballroom, a block west of the, uh, east of the Crystal Ballroom on uh, West Burnside. And uh, well, well got, done. That was a compl that was a difficult topic, and I think you handled it well. <laughs> Thank you. Um, <laughs> just be careful on the stairs on the way That's down. Right. Yes. There is an elevator if you need it. Um, we saw you there the other night. You yes, were good enough to come by. Thank you. Yes, um, I am that good. Yes, you are. And um, and you've got special uh, openers and tweeners all week. There's uh, two more shows right Friday and. Uh, yeah, tonight and tomorrow. Uh, yeah, and um, who are joining you? Who all? Tonight, uh, tonight is the Dimes or jo Johnny, the lead songwriter for the Dimes, and uh, Tucker, the pedal steel player. And I, I'm not sure who else is going to show up. There's been people showing up every night that we've dragged up on stage, and and some that refused to. As soon as they were recognized, they ran screaming from the room. Um, but we, we never know who's going to show up. Tonight is those guys. And then uh, Saturday is going to be Jenny Conley from the, 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 the Decemberists. The Decemberists. And, and back in our day from Colobo. We used to tour in a big puppy pile with Colobo. So, uh, and they're having a reunion. Yeah, they're having a reunion later this summer, which is uh, exciting. They've all gone on to uh, exciting things. Colobo yes. was a long time... Uh, jam band but don't uh don't let that label uh, prejudice you yeah but Jen jenny's actually going to do uh she's going to do a duet with little sue uh, they're going to do like uh i think turn of the century as in 1900 french uh french tunes yeah. on accordion and vocal so it's right. really cool totally experimental and 99 years before you came to portland 99 <laughs> <laughs> yes. um so yeah these guys have been uh you know, uh, singing all week, so they very kindly come in in uh, in the early afternoon, or as I call it, morning for musicians, that and uh, they are going to favor us with a tune. What tune are you going to sing, box set duo? We, we would do anything for you, Jeff. I've Jeff is the one who's kind 
Oh, that's a good that's a, that's a good place for the mic. Don't move the mic because it's got to pick up the guitar. And but Jeff is has put Jeff, uh, our your radio host <laughs> Rosenberg, <laughs> has put his be, his butt on the line in Portland for music and gotten up on stage in a purple jumpsuit in a nod to Van Morrison and done high air kicks, uh, much t- you know at great risk to his person <laughs> and reputation. He pulled it off and came, and I came pulled a muscle. <laughs> yeah, that's right. You, the re, redoing the last waltz. I yeah. Yeah. yeah, I don't. Uh, yeah, the, we heard about that in San Fran. Even. Nice. Um, oh, what are we gonna do though? We're yeah, do what are you gonna do? Uh, I, I really liked song. that one, but no, you guys yeah. <laughs> go ahead. You know that one song? Yeah, that one. I love that one. Uh, this is a song called uh, La Claire. It's about a small town in Iowa where we broke down uh, ten or so years ago. Thank you. Box set partner. Yeah, Box set sure. duo cool. live in. number from box set duo makes me want a chocolate eclair <laughs> somewhere in eclair that's where the cream filling is located that's right um <laughs> box set duo uh reunited after six to eight years <laughs> <laughs> should we just call it seven <laughs> yeah. there you go no because then we couldn't fight about it anymore. No, that's true seven year itch um and they were the creators of several cds over the course of their 
uh, what did you say? Like 17? 17 before we took a break. So yeah, 17 like year 90, partnership. 91 we got, it was uh, the first show. Uh huh. When you guys were like three or something, huh? Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wish. Um, so you've brought in the CD, the album Lemonade. Yes. And uh, I'd love to play something from it. You guys get to decide once again. What? Uh, we were just looking at that track nine. Track nine, all is forgiven, is a kind of a good yeah. one because that's a full band CD, which we're not, really, you know, we're not gonna get the full band get back together. Uh, we're just gonna do duo stuff uh, here and there. Mm -hmm. It's fun. Jeff's already in a full band, and I play in a bunch of full bands, so it's nice to get get together and make jokes and not have to worry about all the gear and just tell stories and sing songs. And it's been really, it's been a fun week. Both of us have. Lots of electric bands to play in, but no acoustic outlets anymore. Oh, nice. nice. Uh, acoustic guitars don't need an outlet. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> I'll match you, you pun you for pun, Brunberg. You uh, need an outlet for those, those <laughs> high-level jokes. <laughs> uh, no, Track Nine's a good example of kind of the band, more, more produced kind of stuff that we used to do. I love those people in the CD era who call out requested shows, and they're like, Track Nine! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they, wait, what do you mean the CD era? You mean it's not over? <laughs> That's right, the MP3 era. You mean it's over? Yeah, I don't know. We'll, we'll have, yeah, it may be drawing to a close. Um, we're going to listen to All Is Forgiven from Box Set. That's why you guys got back together, right? That's right. All Is Forgiven. All is forgiven. Texas way You must have been asking for it That's what I say But we don't talk about it Lines and lines and lines And up in Laramie They got a queen scarecrow Just one day on display Now Yeah. 
from the album Lemonade from the year 1990 something. 1990. They were all in the 90s. Isn't it? I thought we were a 90s band through and through. (laughs) I don't know if I'm depressed about that song and the subject matter or because you just told me that CDs are a thing of the past. I don't know. They're Uh, they're waning. Yeah, they are waning. Um, All Is Forgiven is the name of that track from Box Set. And as it played, I was twisting their arms uh, one of each of them to uh, ask them to play one more tune to us for us today. They're trying to save their voices for the last two shows of their week long residency <coughs> at Al's Den, McMenamin's Al's Den, um, mm-hmm. in the Crystal Hotel, which is, as I said, lo- located a block from the Crystal Ballroom. And uh, so they're there Friday night and Saturday night, starting at seven. Is that right? Like they were the other night, or? Yeah, seven. Seven is when we bring on our our guests, our opening bands, yeah. our friends. Show at seven. We're we're yeah, we're generally on by uh, by around eight. Eight-ish. But get you got to right. get there early to to get in to, to to get a table. Yeah, it's a cool room. It's like it's, an old speakeasy. And it's over by ten because it's a hotel. Mm-hmm. So so that works. Um, and, and uh, don't we have some drag queens opening for us tonight. Well, Friday? they're not opening for us, but there's another event in there. <laughs> the, the gay uh, oh, no, pride, open for us. You just win. the pride <laughs> kickoff. There are several pride weekend kickoff events, and oh, one yeah. of them is in the basement today, uh, like at five o'clock. And uh, Portland's most talented and spectacular and fabulous drag queens are going to put on a show. Uh, Poison Waters is the MC, and I, I saw it last year. It was pretty cool. Nice, nice. And are you participating this year or no? No, I didn't make the cut, man. No. I, I didn't either. Neither of you brought your, your drag outfits to, no. the, to the gig tonight. Um, but, yeah, 7 p.m. tonight and tomorrow night featuring uh, special guests such as Little Sue and Jenny Conley tomorrow night. and uh, The Dimes. The Dimes, dimes tonight. The Dimes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, enough of this uh, chicanery and foolishness. Uh, Box said it's going to play one more live song for us. Okay. Thanks, Jeff. Yeah, mm-hmm. thanks for having us on. Yeah, it's absolutely. great to see you again. Um, this is a song about an old rusted out bus that probably went from the. Um, it was originally bought by the military, I'm guessing, when it was new, because they're the ones who can afford to buy new buses. And then uh, probably the schools bought it after a couple of years of good service. After the schools were done with it, it probably went to a church and then uh, ended up in the hands of hippies who uh, Go probably further, shows. followed Jeff's, <laughs> new, Jeff's new band around. Right. Let me re- remind you all that yeah, Jeff just, sings for further these days <laughs> with a U, two U's. They can't spell. And U's. That's right. All you hippies out there that are homeschooling your children, teach them how to spell so they don't start bands like Further. <laughs> God. Okay, so then, uh, so this song is about an old rusted out bus. Judy had a baby girl. John. Johnny loved to fly. Not so many years ago, that old Love Express rode high. And now it's sitting rusted out in some forgotten part of town. Men were walking on the moon, and that old bus broke down. Each became an island, and every island had a fence. And no one had the energy just to keep up the maintenance. First rainbow colors cracked and peeled, and then the poetry faded away. And the windows were painted over when sunshine became cliche. Yeah, no one checked the fluids, and no one checked the oil. And one hot day a hose broke, and the radiator boiled. We all sat and watched it burble up, and it was psychedelic green. Men were walking on the moon as we stared at our sad machine. Sing ride em high, ride em low, ride as far as you may go now. Ride em low now, ride em low, ride em high, ride till their love runs dry. We did not try to fix it, we scattered and we never looked back. 
And only in dreams or when drunk or alone are we vulnerable to its attacks But it gets us in the offices and in the early morning commutes Some turn to new age music even to keep it from getting acute Oh, they run from it on 6th Street And they hide from it on Wall Street Oh, they practice escape so complete that we never reveal To the people we meet That we know that we could have done better And we fear we could do worse To have written all that love expressed We were the blessed We were the cursed Sing ride em high Ride em low Ride as far as you may go now Ride em low now Ride em high Ride as still their love runs dry Judy kept that baby girl John kept his sovereignty And the beautiful world we dreamed for that girl Well, there's dreams and there's reality Forgot that song had so many words. <laughs> Wish I had them with me. <laughs> you guys do have some songs that aren't about broken down vehicles, right? Yes, one or two. Okay. Right. <laughs> there's some happy ones in there that are about uh, vehicles running perfectly fine. The folk uh -huh. music union demands that 80% of your songs are about broken down vehicles right yeah and you know we're union guys <laughs> <laughs> well um you're reunion guys this week here in Portland. Oh, oh, you are on <laughs> <Saturday>. <laughs> <laughs> um and they're reuniting for two more shows uh friday tonight and saturday night at uh, al's den at the crystal ballroom on west burnside yes and uh they're gonna go brew some throat coat right now yes we are get ready for tonight um, so thanks so much for getting back together. You're one of those duos that's just so simpatico. You've been playing long enough that uh, you even like echo each other's moves on stage and stuff like that. And let me tell you, these guys have moves. Yeah, we, we, I, I wasn't aware of the moves because I can't. We can't see ourselves. Uh -huh. That's just body chemistry. Right. We we echo each other's moods. That's for sure. That too. We slept in a lot of dorm rooms together back in the days. So uh huh. We spooned. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks so much for getting back together. <laughs> thanks for having us. And back coming on, on the lot. show, uh, back to Kabu after many years. And don't make it a one-time thing. Let's hope to see you guys singing together again sometime in the not too distant future. We shall. Box set duo thanks, on Jeff. the song circle. Thank you guys and. Uh, just to compare and contrast, <laughs> here's a track, uh, the comeback song, as I said, from the Everly Brothers, On the Wings of a Nightingale, from uh, their album EB84 from 1984.